Hi everyone, Jaini Jaline here, another of the Celestial Travel Vlogs. Today, what I'm going to be talking about are some Mojo Math observations that I made going out and about. Um, I just love one of the things that I really love about, you know, Podlayer and learning how to read Mojo is, is how much richer the information is that, that I get from the environment and from um, you know, from dynamics and everything, the insight, the level of insight that you get is really unparalleled. So it's really cool. Um, and so when I was out and about this weekend, there were um, a few things, random things that really struck me because of how they apply to, you know, math, to people math principles. Um, <clears throat> well, and people math is connected to the math of the all. Um, so one of them, so I was, uh, I do these, these workouts, uh, like trampoline and, and TRX and different workouts at this uh, studio. And one of the instructors of, in the studio is a Nijai male. And, um, he's really sparkly and bubbly and he keeps everything, everyone going and re really motivated and everything. And today we were doing a, a class this morning and... We had we were we were part way through the the class, and all of a sudden, out of it seemed out of like it came out of nowhere. Um, this voice it's sort of booming, and it sort of like has walked into the part way through the class, and he's like, um, and says, uh, "How are you?" You know, but but it was a tone. Well, it was I can't do it because it I could tell right away like that was distinctive. Like Niji, I was I was in the middle. Everyone was like in the middle of their mountain climbers and stuff. You know, like huffing and puffing. You know, like focused in their own world, trying to get through um, the reps as best as possible. But that voice I recognized right away as Niji. But it was a Niji that was like declaring like. You don't see Naiji coming out a lot in like declaring himself. When you do, um, it's very notable in the environment because it it takes up the the sort of the air in a way um, of the space. So I'm sort of looking up, but they're kind of looking at one another, and it's like all of a sudden, and, and it's a Naiji. My instructor's a Naiji guy, and this was a Naiji guy, and but like just how you see in like a. A movie where all of a sudden they have like they're in their own like time and space like the class you know they're talking it like he talks he then he starts like saying oh you're teaching the class here you know and sort of in a flirty way that only an IG does in this sort of you know like I'm being bold and coming out here into your space where you're doing your thing and and being sparkly Nijai person and uh, you know, I'm like, but now I'm being bold and um, want to, you know, I, I'm, I'm de obviously declaring that I'm, I want to, you know, I want to connect with you. I'm, I'm interested. I want to talk more. And so then they were on their own time of space. And like, you could see, like, they, they st talked a, f a few more sentences back and forth. And you could see, like, this was a goodbye, but not really a goodbye. There was going to be a continuation of this because as soon as, like, the, they, you know, he went, the Naiji then like sort of like disappeared, like just how he came in, like that was the way that he, you know, exited, um, and like a ninja. And then um, my instructor, the Nijai, he, he got like, just you could see it, the, the power of inspirational, like energetically. Like he was, he just had like this like superhero glow and he just started going because he's generally like really fast and coordinated and you know, everybody's like huffing and puffing and chasing to try to keep up with his pace, which is, you know, incredible. And, um, but from then on, like he got this amazing rush of energy and ability because it wasn't just like pure energy. It was like his knee and jai and you could see like I... He felt, you know, like appreciated and validated in a way that only someone of his inspirational that is, you know, interested in him, you could tell like they had an affinity and, and like this person was actually like, you know, was like inspirationally interested in this other human being. 
Um, and, you know, for, and then he just kicked everybody's butt after that because he was like so, you know, like coordinated me, like fast, clever, you know, it was just like all his, his powers were, were augmented and, and heightened, which was really amazing. It's, it's beautiful to see, you know, and it's, it's, it makes me sad that people don't understand, you know, why would natural law make that happen if it weren't the right thing to happen, you know, like it wouldn't, natural law makes things perfectly, you know, makes, makes, makes things the way they're supposed to be, so why would they keep, why would natural law keep doing that and make the, that universal energetic connection between two um, human beings, whatever, you know, uh, gender, uh, physical gender they happen to be, but they connect and, and they inspire one another, they, they create, you know, they inspire, they create love, and like they, d like everybody else had a contact high from from the Nija instructor. After that, it was only beneficial to the rest of the collective. Um, the group was like buoyant, really like uh, this huge heightened buoyancy, and got all these like heightened bonuses from being around him in that um, state of of being that um, that inspired state. So. Um, no, it just really like strikes me, you know, when you see that and that's happening in front of you, how can someone's, you know, anyone say that that's, you know, wrong or bad or, um, you know, not supposed to be? It clearly is. It clearly is. Um, and afterwards you saw, I saw when I came back to grab my, my hoodie because I had forgotten it, um, the ninja had come back and, and they were both walking, you know, and, and just talking and enjoying each other's company. So... Yeah, I mean, it, it's clearly natural law made it. It's there for a reason. It's beautiful. It, 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 it's only a benefit to themselves and to the rest of the collective. So, um, oh, then um, continuing my travels, I, uh, well, what I've, I've been doing since it's the end of the year, I felt the need for um, a ritual of, um, you know, like sometimes uh, in your headspace you can know, okay, I've done a lot in this past, uh, we consider the years, um, you know, some milestones as humans. So following that, um, I actually decided to do a ritual, a physical ritual of the, the space which, in which we're in because our headspace, you know, we've done a lot of work in this past year and accomplished a lot. Um, and we're, we're getting the lists, uh, you know, coaches working, you know, so, so, so hard to get the, the lists purified. And we've been, you know, uh, helping him through the, the, the process, you know, doing, contributing with what, um, you know, we can. And so we've done a lot of work. And so I wanted that to be translated into other things, like the physical space. And so um, I decided to do like, you know, spring cleaning. It's sort of a year-end cleaning. Uh, and uh, buy new floor mats and, you know, um, and for the kitchen and the, and the bathroom and stuff and, and sort of like give it a, a new feel, a spruced up space and um, also have like some investments in our, our materials and uh, like our equipment for the year end. Um, like we're going to get a new, fa new spiffy mm, big screen TV, you know, so things to, to upgrade our operations at the year end because that will... Um, you know, not only the 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 nai and the v that's not being created through Podlair, but also like the space and the operations. The the like, it's it's good to do these rituals whenever you can. And it doesn't need like to be stuff that you spent money on. I mean, you can just be, you know, you're just you're just cleaning and clearing and adding to your operations as you can. And so that felt. It, it felt important to me uh, to to do that ritual, and I think that's also my connection to my other because my other, mm, you know, um, leads me to think outside of myself and also like for the group in the common space and upgrading it, and that elevates the the social um, community, and you know. Uh, and adds to the bonding element and, and everything and, and the confidence of the group, which is really important. So I decided to go uh, out to, to Target to buy those things. And while I was out there, I saw a 
mom and a daughter. The daughter was about, uh, was like a toddler. She was about maybe three years old. I may be wrong, but around that age, three, four years old. And at an age where she's starting to ask a lot of questions, like just questioning things, like she's starting to be aware of things that are going on, um, positions that people have, and she's starting to, to question them a lot. What does that mean for me? Um, and you could see that because, um, so the mom was pushing the cart, the shopping cart, and had the little girl sitting inside the shopping cart like many parents do with their children. And um, as they were going along through these, this aisle of clothes, the little girl, um, all these uh, women's clothes, she was, she was looking at the different clothes and she would like say things like, um, what do you think of, of this um, of this shirt, mommy? You know, and the mommy, the mom would give her some. You know, the mom Nijai would give the little girl Nijai like an answer of, you know, well, you know, the cuts. Not uh, she would give her some sort of technical answer uh, that was more sophisticated than what her daughter currently understood. But the daughter's like, oh, okay, you know, like she accepted that, and then she was like. And then she moved on to other questions like, then she got to colors, like uh, she said, Mommy, she was looking around at the different colors and the different outfits and she's like, Mommy, do you have a color? I think my color is yellow. Mm, what's your color, Mommy? Mm, mommy? And, and Mom, I think she had a, she was, um, or looking through clothes and she looked through, uh, she was p pulling through a, a pink garment. And the little girl was like, do you like pink, mommy? And the mom, um, she's uh, was about 23, 24 years old, so so pretty young, um, Nijai woman, and uh, she she sort of I rec and I recognize that she sort of stammered when the girl asked her about the the pink. She's like, no, and and the girl, um, the little Nijai, she was like. She didn't, like you could see, she wasn't, she was perplexed because her next question was like, you know, what, um, why don't you like pink? I mean, uh, so obviously like, but, but in the tone of voice of like, what, what's wrong with it? You could tell the little girl Jai is like, I don't understand. Pink is, seems like a, I like pink. So why does mommy not like pink? Um, so she asked her th that same question and each time the mom sort of like um then um she didn't really answer the question because I, I guess in her mind I don't know e exactly the reasoning she would give if she was like honest but it would be something to the effect because a lot of um, you know Jai mojos have an affinity towards pink and you see all these little girls you know with their their pink outfits and purple they like pinks and purples and yellows and but but pink is definitely big there in the rotation of their outfits what they choose the colors that they gravitate towards and toys and different things like that so it's it's a big you know big thing you know pink is a big color for for girls but as you grow up like that that gets associated with you know being childish childish um, immature mm, too um, too like girly and by that like or submissive or um, not take charge enough um, it even gets associated with self-indulgence so things like that are a meme conception of Mm, if I had to put it into words like Jai weakness, maybe? Because um, Jai gets associated with weakness a lot and being vulnerable and exposed. And so as, as they grow, as people grow older and the, the perception of, of memes on, on women, girls and women a lot is like that, you know, as you grow up, you need to become a responsible woman and you know like continue your duties and you have to shed those things like and pink seems to be one of those things you know um, I, don't, I don't understand why and, and clearly the Nijai little girl she didn't understand why either because she kept asking the same question from different angles and the mom never really answered it and then the girl finally was like she's like well 
well, I like pink. I mean, she find like it, it forces a person to, and I'm sure like this is not the only encounter or like fork in the road she'll encounter with pink and all sorts of different things of like your 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 native wiring is saying, I get energy from those. I get you know, um, yeah, I have an energetic affinity with those things, um, whether it be my teddy bear or the color pink. And I don't understand why this, my mom, well, obviously, like, I respect you, her opinion and her positions, and I see her as, like, you could tell, like, she, the little girl had a good relationship with her mom. Um, and, and so she sees her as, like, this n thing, person to look up to, but this person to look up to has now apparently a blind spot around this color pink and who knows what other things you know come along with that um and so you could see because again the mom was you know 23 24 so young mom about 20 years difference between her and her daughter but how the memes you know had already put this gulf between the 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 native you know just feral more just perception way of thinking versus something that uh, it's someone who's had all this formatting of the way things are supposed to be like that you know can constrains you a lot of ways that just don't make any sense uh pink being one of them so i'm wearing pink <laughs> um pink is an awesome color and so is jai so it's it'll be good a good thing when when you know Jai is is when when Jai mojos feel m more comfortable with um, being able to to do their thing uh, out out there you know and, and the world will benefit from it greatly um, so then going along with the inspirational stories and love and all this good stuff there was a song uh, uh, that I that I found recently. Uh, it's a um, song. Uh, it's a new song by John Mayer and Katy Perry. And I was never a big fan of John Mayer. You know, like uh, I you know some people are fans of his, but um, I was a never a huge fan of John Mayer, who's an IG. Um, although you know he's a, an accomplished musician, but just like my as far as my tastes. And Katy Perry, I know she's really accomplished too. Nijai. Uh, but I was never huge into her music either. It's more, it's more for different, I think, demographics, and um, and yeah, demographic and and, and headspace maybe. Um, but they did a duet, and it's called um, "Who You Love," and it, it's. I think it it's um, like, for me that like seeing them sing together in that duet and uh, talking about, you know, like basically the, the way they're harmonizing, you can tell they're inspired by one another and, um, and they're being really more truthful to themselves than they are, I think, a lot of times in their own music. Like uh, he's more open because he tends to be more, um, you know, sort of like, He's ghosting it with the music. He's not, a lot of times I feel like I'm not, I can't really connect with his music when he does his solo, but I could connect with it more when he was, she, uh, you can see Katy Perry brings him out more. I think he's, he's very mm, removed from, from the world. Um, not saying he doesn't have a reason to be, um, but, but she brings him out more and she brings out more of his, um, his G and he actually goes out and connects and and for her she um, she has a lot of knee but that I see a lot of knee with like with like more of like that uh, upbeat like knee and Jai but this pulled out more of her her Jai um, like her authenticness and so it really worked well the duet um, so it was really cool and that got me thinking about some other Nijez duets, like uh, some that are really like uh, stand out and memorable. Mm, some of them um, are, we were talking about it actually, it got us talking about 
some other duets that are really cool and some different from some different flavors. So there's a so there's Naiji Peter Gabriel and Nijai Kate Bush and the song is Hold On and it's um it's a really cool song. Um really mm, captures uh, I think like the Nijez dance uh really well. And in fact in the video they're actually um, if you're not familiar with it, they're actually like embracing each other. Um, Kate Bush and him, and they're going around in a sort of like a, how do you call it? Like a roundabout. Um, how do you call it? How would you say it? Like you're spinning around and you're in the same axis. Spinning the same axis. Yeah, like, yeah. Is like a merry-go-round, yeah. essentially. But they're, they're the merry-go-round merry as it goes around. It's very cool. Isn't there little... There's dancers? a sun behind them. Isn't there, like, I think you might, those little dancers that you wind up and they, they, oh, they spin around? Oh, yeah. Is that what you're talking about? I don't know what you call those. Like. Yeah. Like they have the, in the jewelry boxes sometimes, mm -hmm. yeah. you have, like, the ballerina that just, yeah. like, spins like that. Um, so whatever that is. Gyrates in, in place. <laughs> I know. We, I think we did. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, then. Um, <laughs> I know. That's a different kind of setting. <laughs> Oops. Also worthwhile. Also worthwhile. Just different. Different flavors. Speaking of different flavors, another one is uh, Naiji Lil Wayne and uh, Nijai Nicki Minaj. Um, oh, this is one of the, uh, coach, coach likes this song. <laughs> Not all the time, <laughs> Not all the time but sometimes it's, it's called, what's wrong with them? Because it's cool, because <laughs> yes, it it's like, you know, your knee, other is like, game and, and... The world's fucking with you and, yeah. and your other's back in your play. Exactly. Then you have, for, this is like, um, Civil, Civil Wars, who's uh, Nijai Joy Williams and Naiji John Paul White. And the song is called Poison and Wine, and they, they have what I what really gets me about the song, and like it's it's their voices, like how beautifully they they harmonize with one another, which is interesting because in real life, not no nobody knows the exact circumstances, but they, I mean, because they really make beautiful music. Their two, their voices are just really make a beautiful dance, um, but they actually you know, uh, we're not in speak on speaking terms. I think now they've, they've tried to get back together because people just love their, their music so much. It was like we're just one album, but it, people were so struck by it. And they're like, what? You just got together and you make beautiful music. Now you're going, now you, you're not talking to one another. That, that, that can't be. And so that's sort of by popular demand, they're trying to, to get back together and hopefully they, they'll work it out. But it's it's interesting to see they make so such beautiful music together. But like sometimes you know with when, when it's inspirational, when things go wrong, they can go really wrong. <laughs> um, but then they can get back together again. So it's fluid, you know, and it's not just one one thing. Um, and then on the on the her hem Nijez, you have Naiji Linda Ronstad and Nijai Aaron Neville, and the song Don't Know Much. And th there, if, if you're, you should catch that if you watch it, and you should watch the live version. Because they just have, like, amazing chemistry in their voices. Like, Aaron Neville's voice, Nijai, um, and it, it just, it just breaks your heart. It's, it's like, that quality, that, vi I don't know what to call it, vibrato, vibrato or something in his voice. is just, like, the command and mastery. Both of them are really masterful with their voices. Um, really masterful instruments, and Linda Ronstadt, and they, they, you could tell they really had that um, mutual admiration, and the, it really comes across in, in their performance. Um, it's one of the one of the best out there. So, so I guess today was a lot about mm, mm, love and power of inspirationals, and also the gulf that memes create between your innate. People like innate configurations and what happens afterwards as, as you get, you know, trainings that are suppo supposed to, like, be helpful, but a lot of times they just kind of limit you in ways that really make no sense. <laughs>
Um, so anyways, that was it for today. And I will see you guys next time.